We turn now to the latest thrilling adventure from a galaxy far, far away. The all new Book of Boba Fett series from the Star Wars universe finds an actress you may know as the voice of Mulan now taking control of Tatantuni's criminal underworld as the elusive mercenary Fennec Shand alongside bounty hunter Boba Fett. Will Reeves spoke with actress Ming Na Wen about the role she's dreamed about her entire life. Hi. All right, we're gonna dive right in here. Um, how you found yourself at the center of your own Star Wars story even to begin with. And am I to understand you've been dreaming about this for a very long time? Yes, ever since I saw um, the original, you know, the first film now called A New Hope. Before that, it was just Star Wars. Uh, I have really been immersed into this world where the force is actually like my religion after a while. <laughs> like I would pray to God, Buddha and the force. And I still do. It must all feel a bit surreal to achieve a thing that you had dreamed of for so long. Yeah, it's crazy because um, how many people get to say that, right? Even now when I see myself um, on the episodes, you know, the Book of Boba Fett is airing right now, it's streaming, and I'm still sort of astounded. It's like an out-of-body experience. This is like winning lotto for me. The character you portray is Fennec Shand. It's, she's an elite mercenary assassin with a moral ambiguity that you've likened to Han Solo in the past. So in what ways might you lean into that comparison and how might it inform your performance? I think there is this uh, sort of um, maverick quality that they both share. She's sort of a loner, which I think separates them a bit. Right now, she just cares about money and aligning herself with um, the best opportunities. So right now it's aligning herself with the legendary Boba Fett. Now. Let's talk about the physicality of your role. You've done Street Fighter. You've done Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Mulan. You're no stranger to action and to performing physical roles, doing stunts. How has the past informed the present in that way? When I did Street Fighter, it was so much work back then. We trained like three times a day. Stunt fighting is incredibly hard, but so much fun. And boy, it keeps me in shape. I'm actually kind of lazy when it comes to exercise. What have you been most surprised by your character in the book of Boba Fett? That she came back to life <laughs> in The Mandalorian, you know? And, uh, and that's all I can say at the moment. I mean, the biggest surprise is um, that, uh, you know, she is able to partner up with someone because bounty hunters are very much loners. And I think this is a, a real new experience for her to have to trust someone and have someone trust her. So um, it's, it's gonna be interesting to see how their dynamic evolve over the episodes. The Book of Boba Fett, it's also changing pre-existing conceptions of some characters from some previous storylines like in the past, Tusken Raiders were seen as primitive savages, but now they're portrayed as natives of Tatooine, protecting their ancestral grounds. So my question is, what do you think that the change of perception in some of the Star Wars characters and storylines does for the Star Wars universe going forward? Well, I think it challenges um, a lot of the Star Wars fans who, um, are so knowledgeable, you know, that they, they, have definite opinions and ideas about uh, the characters and and their um, either their demise or their evolution. And this sort of creates a better understanding, I think, and a clearer picture of people like the Tuscans. Because I remember watching Star Wars, like they were to my mind, you know, were the the scary guys that you have to run away from or avoid, right? That they were the scavengers where they uh, pirate and steal things and live off of others, basically. And then you find out in the Book of Boba Fett that they're the indigenous people, really, of Tatooine. 
and have had their land stripped and you know and it parallels a lot of history that um, we all read about and know about and um, I think it's it's wonderful to be able to uh, sort of have a deeper insight into these characters that were more in the peripheral and including Boba Fett you know he only had like six minutes of airtime between um, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, which um, I think is very exciting for the fans. Is there anything that you can share about the rest of the season of the Book of Boba Fett for diehard Star Wars fans like yourself? Um, well, there are uh, four more episodes to enjoy and watch. <laughs> uh, when I look back on it, or when I'm even watching an, a new episode of the Book of Boba Fett, um, it's, it's, it's a privilege. It really is. And, and I'm very grateful and I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, I'll have more chances to, um, portray these characters in different venues. Our thanks to Will. The Book of Boba Fett is now streaming on Disney Plus. It is on my to-do list for this weekend to watch. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.